Make America Great Again, the head meme coin is going up quite a bit today, but also this whole week, while the overall crypto market isn't doing that great. Let's have a look at who's buying here, who's selling here, who's actually driving this rally. Can this potentially last longer? To answer that question, we will, of course, as usual, look at on-chain metrics. We will look at the number of whale wallets. We will look at the number of retail wallets. We will compare who's actually buying, who's actually selling. Currently, we are at 0.4 cents. The price went up by 35% today. It almost doubled this week, but times haven't always been great. We had a massive pump with the peak at the end of May, then a subsequent dump. Now we are recovering. Who's buying here? This is not the first video on the Mega Trump token. I published one one month ago already. At that time, there was a lot of attention. The number of views outperformed a regular video. A follow-up video, though, underperformed. Very interesting, as in attention seems to be slowing down. Let's first have a look at the Mega Whales. There's more than 18,000 holders in general of this token. At least that's on chain, 18,813 holders. But more than 21% is been held by Gate.io. Another 2.4% by Huobi, another 1.8% by Maxi, etc. The large centralized exchanges tend to hold a lot of the token. Now the question is, are they continuing to accumulate or are they potentially selling off an initial distribution they got? Here is the holding over time of that Gate.io wallet. It's continuing to go up. This is good. Here's the wallet by Huabi, which unfortunately did decline quite a bit by roughly one third in the last week. Here is Maxi, a very similar development, also a similar degree of decline. And here we've got another centralized exchange also seeing rather accumulation. Now, by far, the most important chart is really the gate IO one because it has almost 10 times of the holding of wallet number two. And again, we don't see any distribution here. We see continued accumulation. But when this is going up, why did the price rather decline in the last month? Let's have a look at more aggregate statistics. Let's have a look at the number of retail investors versus whale investors. Is retail accumulating? Are the whales accumulating? Let's dive in. To answer the question, I have built a tool myself that's available to the premium members. By the way, you can plug in any token into this tool and you can see how many retail medium-sized retail and whale investors there are. Those are the long-term charts starting in middle of May. So on the left side, we've got a minimum holding of 2 million tokens at the current price that's equal to $773. That's what I'd consider small retail. In the middle, we've got medium-sized retail. That's a minimum holding of $7,000. On the right, we've got the whales. That's a minimum holding of $70,000 at the current prices. And so on the last month, the price tended to rather decrease decline and here are the same kind of charts but only for the last month and here we see why that is it's the number of whales the number of wallets that hold at least seventy thousand dollars worth of the mega head token that's what went down by roughly 25 percent the importance of the whales on the right is more than 100 times as high compared to the wallets on the left. So even though the number of retail investors grew by 10%, it's really the whale wallets that pushed the price down. And we can see how a lot of that selling stopped in the last week, right? Again, this is an entire month. A lot of the selling of those whales stopped in the last week. Medium-sized retail bought, small retail bought as well. The major exchange didn't distribute. And that's why we're seeing some kind of reversal here. So this looks like a relatively stable consolidation, right? It doesn't look like the whales are now selling. But in the end, the price of this token is 100% in the hands of Gate.io simply because there's so much holding on that exchange. And this is definitely not just all customer funds. This is a lot of market making capital as well. And so of course we do see most of trading volume happening on gate IO. So the on-chain metrics for mega head look relatively good. Unfortunately, the overall market doesn't. What we see over here behind me is the stablecoin market cap of DAI, of USDT, of USDC. BUSD, there's all kinds of stable coins in here. And unfortunately, we haven't seen any fiat currency flowing into crypto for more than two months now. Crypto isn't expanding anymore. And so this is now becoming 100% a player versus player game. And because of that, I prefer in this market environment to rather short 
altcoins to rather bet on falling prices of altcoins most altcoins are very likely going to underperform going forward and so i don't necessarily want to pick the needle in the haystack that might outperform i rather simply try to bet on the haystack itself so to put the odds in our favor we can simply just short a basket of various altcoins where there's no attention where the attention rather tends to bleed so for example i short this altcoin over here i bet on this chart continuing to go down down. it already went down by roughly 50 percent this year and i make money as this continues to trickle down the reason why this goes down by the way is because the supply is expanding over time right tokenomics are hyper hyper important as there's more supply hitting the market the price tends to go down if demand doesn't grow in the same manner and so in ambiguous markets like this i think it's better not to go too much risk on even though mega head in general looks fine i think shorting altcoins that tend to underperform over the long term are a safer bet and so there are tutorials on how to make money with falling prices i also share what kind of altcoins i short for example the one i just showed that's all available down below in the premium membership it's the bitcoinstrade.com if you've got a crypto portfolio that's above 5000 us dollars or so then it's worth it for you if you don't if your crypto portfolio is still too small then you can also check out the free telegram the link is as well down below looking very much forward to chatting with you cheers